Now a streaming platform that is extremely versatile not only in terms of how you live stream but the application value for a range of audiences, well it's not easy to come by. However Innovent aimed to provide you with one of the most powerful softwares for in-person professional events and video productions. This software is extremely versatile in how you intend to use it with the ability to run live meetings, in real life experiences, TV like broadcasts or virtual events with the Innovent platform. So let's see what all the hype's about and have a look at Innovent. So Innovent has a fantastic ability to make your live streams highly more engaging than any alternative options on the market. Other options have simple interfaces and simple features that don't really make them worth the money. Not only is this a streaming platform, but it is capable of streaming whole events, not to mention having the ability to have multiple streams going at one time. So in essence, let's say if you're a business looking to showcase what you have during an expedition, you could showcase one product on one stream and another product on your other stream. Now that's pretty impressive coming from an online piece of software. It shows just how powerful it really is. But one feature I'm going to pay very close attention to and show you in pure detail is the Innovent live streaming platform. Live streaming has evolved rapidly over the years and this upward trend will only continue to grow in the near future. To go beyond conventional broadcasting has become an exponentially growing sensation in corporate environments. Especially with remote work and globalized relations in place, it is now mandatory that enterprises promote high-end video experiences. So this is where Innovent's live streaming platform comes in. I've been using this for several weeks now, going through it with a fine tooth comb, having a look at some of its engaging features, and there are many. One feature that makes this software stand out from the rest has to be that live editing feature. With this feature you can really dive into some intense real-time video editing for your audience to be fully engaged. You can add live crawlers, lower thirds, titles, and even branded animations. To personalize your stream further, Further, you have the ability to drag interactions from the audience and drop them onto the screen for others to see. Now that alone is a feature I haven't seen in any other software. So here is the main event dashboard area and it is very much where the magic happens. Here I have set up a dummy but basic webinar event, I can name it, set up the start and date time, if I scroll down I can see the attendee status which gives me information about who's within the stream, how many invites have been sent out and so much more. If we scroll back up here we will find our individual webinar setup buttons and I won't dive into these too much as they are quite self explanatory but if we click the details we can add our basic information like the name of the event, link, add some custom cover art and logos to give it a more personal feel. You can even add some extensive options like setting terms and conditions for the attendees and much more. The form area allows you to create a questionnaire for your attendees to complete beforehand so that they have all the relevant information you need so you know who exactly is attending your stream. The session mode actually allows you to go back into your recordings of past streams and re-watch and even download them for offline viewing. The attendees allowing you to see who's attending the event and preview their individual information that you asked beforehand. Here in a speaker section you can allocate members for the stream to allow them to speak on your request. You can add personal details for them like their business social media accounts and a few more features. The website area allows you to completely customise the layout, adding information off your stream, the links to the website, photos, headers and much more. It really allows you to fully customise everything down to a T. And finally the email section allows you to indulge in the software's ability to send fully customisable and professional looking emails straight from the Innovent software, maybe letting them know about the upcoming stream or sending invites their way. So that's the setup section covered, let's take a look at the live stream central hub. This is the basic stream view and you're going to see this window which will display everything you need in the preview. This will allow you to fully customise your stream and see exactly what others will see as well. Let's start with the settings section. Here in the design section you will have the ability to change the layout for your attendees. So if you have several speakers you will be able to create a hangout style look with both speakers having the ability to take the screen space. And other options like slides which showcases more than 5 people at once. Overlays will allow us to add our logo into the stream, allowing you to select whereabouts you want it to sit. 
Lower thirds will be a nice little personalized option to add a message or direction for your audience, write anything you want into it, just giving you more control of your live stream. The Chiron is a nice little feature to allow you to have a scrolling message on the bottom of the screen, maybe giving links or directions to your audience at all times. You can do even more customization to the layout by selecting the background color, image, or a video. You can even import a fully customizable picture or video to maybe showcase your business logo or simply adding more of a personal touch to the stream. Here in the stream tabs, we do have the ability to add a video. This could be anything from previous streams to gaming content to marketing material you want someone's opinion on. We can toggle the switch to allow it to take center stage or have it playing alongside you. On the right side we will find our chat, allowing us to encourage our audience asking them questions, replying back or some of the other features. And these features I'm talking about found on this section below. Firstly we can go ahead and ask the audience a question, maybe business related to get an insight to people's views or feelings on the stream, but if a question isn't enough we can actually begin a poll to get an overall popular opinion, asking any question we desire and then in turn get the poll results during or after the stream to answer any questions we may have. Quizzing your attendees is a great way to keep them engaged. You can create a quiz with set question and answers and see maybe who your most loyal follower or colleague is. People, well that's quite self-explanatory. Here you can see the attendees, remove them from the stream if you don't want them there or even give them some airtime to add a little support to your stream. And finally, files will allow you to add anything from PDF documents to business briefs to allow the attendees to have the material it needs and desires. All in all, this is a very impressive piece of online software. It comes with all the power you need along with customizable options. It really does take your live streams to a whole other level. From being able to add overlays live with very simple operation and ease, to being able to engage with your audience on a much more personal level than any other streaming software could do. In event are making sure this software is constantly being worked on and improved on the features alone. In event aim to provide you with one of the most powerful softwares for in-person professional events and video productions. This software is extremely versatile in how you intend to use it with the ability to run live meetings, in real life experiences, TV like broadcasts or virtual events. At this time it makes it a fantastic option to consider. If you want to fully customize your streams and make them so much more engaging, I certainly recommend checking this site out and taking a look at their online software for a test run. Check out InEvent in the link in the description. Let me know what you think. As always, till next time.